All right, so we're back again with S10. I was starting to do the rocker arms of putting them on. I realized, you know, probably a lot of people don't know how to do that. So why not make a video on how to do it? So I decided to do a quick one for you, just show you real quick. So pretty much all I do, you see, I got a couple of them on already. I kind of didn't think about it till after, but so let me see. Pretty much, the LS is like the easiest one to do. There's no valve lash or anything like a big block or solid roller. So pretty much what I do is spin it over, just off the balancer. See how this one went down? It compressed it down. This one's gonna be loose. You can wiggle the rocker. Once you wiggle it like that, then that means it's loose and it's good to go ahead and tighten them down and I mean, really, it's no harder than that. This one goes down, this one's loose. Your exhaust goes down, your intake's gonna be loose. Do not try to do it whenever it's down like this because you're gonna break a bolt in the head. I just put these heads back on because I had a bad torque wrench that ended up actually over torquing it by a lot. And I was worried when I was doing it, but I figured the torque wrench was correct, which it wasn't and ended up breaking a stud off in the head, actually. Where is it at? Here goes what's left of it. So you don't want to do that. Won't focus, but that was a bad day, having to pull the head, pull the motor out, all that, just because one torque wrench messed up. There's really nothing special about them. I just use the stock rocker arms. Just easy. Torque them to 22 pounds. I had to borrow this badass snap on one. Makes life way easier. I know that's correct. But, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and pop one on real quick. Just show you. Spin it over. We'll get there eventually. Alright, so this one went down. So... I'll be able to put that one on real quick. Go ahead and just dab some oil on there. That way it's got some on the push rod side, on the spring side, put some on the, on the bolt, just, just cause why not? Go ahead and just slide it on there. You'll see you don't even have to worry about it being sideways off of there. Because as soon as you start tightening it up, it'll correct itself and put itself right on there. I just use a little, a little ratchet just to snug it up before I get the torque wrench. See, it corrects itself. Puts itself right in the middle, right where it needs to go. Just snug it up with that get the torque wrench see if I can do this with one hand 22 pounds there you go that's it literally all it is to have to do a valve or a valve have to do a rocker on my LS. They're loose, and that's easy. The dog's barking, someone must be here. One goes down, the next one's up and loose, and put it on. That's all it takes. Go ahead and end this, because dog's barking, and it'll probably be loud. But So just a quick video, I just want to show you. I know some people don't know, and some people don't have nobody to show them how to do it, so why not make a quick video out of it? Well, as you see, we're done now. Got the valve covers buttoned back up. Got 
rocker arms all torqued down to what they need to be and getting ready to put the intake on next and go to the next step on this thing i'm so ready to start this motor don't mind my junk temporary headers but i am so ready to start this thing it has been kicking my ass every little thing on it just has fought me gotta get rid of that first before i put the intake on i don't like the way that looks just put a piece of carbon over it and look way better but that's an easy way a little fast forward through you putting the rocker arms on we'll show you how to do it there but all right now i'm really out of here so i'll see you next time